it's honestly just an honor to stand before you as a candidate for the Democratic primary for Georgia's 10th Congressional District. And my name is Lexi Doherty, and I just want to share a little bit about myself and my vision for this district and our great state of Georgia. So I grew up kind of out in the country where um, my parents, just like all of the good parents out there, worked very hard to make sure that I and my brother had every opportunity we could ever want. My father is the kind of conservative who believes that if you work hard and honor your values, that you can always do better for your family and your community. My mom, on the other hand, is super liberal. <laughs> she always really wanted us to understand that we are a part of a very diverse world community and all of our fates are tied together. Those early years taught me the values that I still carry with me today. To work hard, sacrifice, and build community, to disagree without anger and debate uh, in good faith. To me, my most important belief is that together, we are so much more than just the sum of our parts. When we put our heads together, share our experiences, intelligence, and creativity, we can accomplish so much more than we could ever even imagine by ourselves. And this is the beauty and the promise of democracy. And I hesitate to say that we've ever completely lived up to that promise or our commitment to freedom and justice for all. And nowhere is that more obvious than the American South. Our representatives largely don't represent us. They represent billionaire donors and corporate lobbyists. At the same time that we have rapidly increasing productivity, especially thanks to technology, we have stagnant wages, we have a cost of living crisis, and we have record corporate profits. And I wonder if any of these things are related. <laughs> so here's how we fix it. We need a representative committed and capable of tackling this head on. A representative who understands that there are individuals in both parties who benefit when the working class is divided. A representative who will invest in creating opportunities for all Georgians. A representative who is going to work to build trust in our institutions and take on the existential crisis of climate change. For years, I've dedicated my life to mentoring students and helping them find their paths through higher education. I've seen firsthand how education can transform lives, open doors, and create opportunities. I think ed every person should be able to get an education that wants one without going into crippling debt. We should be caring for and educating our children from birth through a bachelor's degree. However, you shouldn't need a four-year degree to be successful or earn a living wage. Sustainable economic growth in our district requires an investment in education and job training and small business development. We need fair wages, access to health care, and paid family leave. We also need to make sure we're investing in um, attracting private and public investments in innovative energy solutions. We can't do any of that, though, without rebuilding the foundations of good government. That's limiting campaign spending, making sure that representatives aren't insider trading, and ensuring transparency in all of our government's actions. As a poll worker, I am especially committed to protecting our, the bedrock of our democracy. Our right to vote is sacred, and it's time to pass the John Lewis Voting Rights Act. That said, I am pragmatic. I understand that not everyone thinks like me, and but I also understand that even though um, we might not always agree how to get there, we all, for the most part, want the same things. We want the same opportunities for our children 
and care for our parents. We want our families to be safe. We want fair wages for our work. I'm a dedicated public servant who believes that these things are possible with the power of unity, innovation, and opportunity. I'm committed to building a large coalition of individuals and groups from different backgrounds and perspectives who share our values. Together, we can make this district a place where we can all achieve our dreams. But first, I need to win this primary. <laughs> and you will have a choice. I'm the candidate who has been campaigning since September to build organizing capacity for Democrats up and down the ballot. I'm the candidate you will see in every county building bridges across our district. I'm the candidate who represents the values of everyday Georgians, someone that you can come talk to like a friend or a neighbor. I'm the candidate who will promote economic development while also ensuring that we're protecting our precious natural resources. So today, I'm asking for your support. $125 allows us to knock on about 100 doors. And this is the part where I'm supposed to do math. Um, <laughs> I want to wild guess. What, is 50 fair? Yeah. yeah. OK. So if everyone here donated $125, that would allow us to turn out 5,000 Democrats. So I'm here asking for your support, for your vote, and your partnership in ensuring that we can create this brighter future for all of us. Hope you will work with me to build bridges across the 10th district and build a community that we can all be proud of. Thank you. Can I have a couple minutes? I'll take a question or two if anybody wants to ask me anything. Oh, come on. I know you all have questions. <laughs> so I'll ask you a question. Yeah. So I know you've been campaigning, you've been active, you've been out there. Uh, what kind of reception are you getting? What are people concerned about? What seems to resonate with the people that you're talking with? Yeah. Um, so I would say a wide range of issues. Um, we were just in Henry County last weekend and had a little event and then also kind of just walked around the square of McDonough and uh, annoyed people at their jobs, which I'm sure was not fun for them, but we did it anyway. Um, and one of the things that I heard from young people was that they're very concerned about what's going on in Gaza. And they, they wanted to hear from me that we were going to condition aid on human rights. And I completely support that. Um, We heard from a gentleman who was, I would say, very hesitant to talk with us at first. Um, and he was really concerned about negative partisanship. And he just was really sick of kind of politics in general. And, you know, we talked for a couple minutes and he started to warm up. And, um, you know, I think a lot of us feel that way that politics has just become something to avoid. You don't want to watch the news anymore. And so we talked a little bit about how we could start to come together to actually accomplish things instead of, you know, having this current Congress where, you know, they've passed almost nothing in the last year. Um, so I think those were a couple of the, the main things. But then, you know, of course, immigration comes up, the economy comes up. You know, I would say there's a wide variety of issues people care about. Thank you. Oops. Tell someone else over there. Yeah. Uh, I have two questions. Sure. So um, the person you'd be primary or um, campaigning against for District 10 yeah. does not support a ceasefire resolution for Afton. Would you? Oh, sure. Um, one of the things that I think is critical is that, you know, we are funding bombing children. That, to me, is unacceptable. And I, I think the fact that we are funding this war makes us responsible for the outcomes. And we need to use the voice that we have to 
you know, make that situation better. So that's my time. All right. Thank you so much for all the work. Thank you. Our final speaker will stick around after. Um, I've got my team here, and so if you want to come do donations, we've got buttons. We just got a minute. I'm super excited about it. So come get a button. Come talk to us. I'm happy to answer more questions. Thanks, y'all.